name's Sean with Tintman Window Tinting. Right now we're at the Longwood location. Both locations are set up in the same way as well as our mobile unit where we have heat lamps, different slides, computer cut, climate control bays at our shops. But what's interesting that we like to do is we like to give you this thermometer gun yourself when you come in. And we have these heat sheets here. And we're going to put them in front of this heat lamp. And we actually let you measure the different films yourself. That way you can find out which series you want to do for your price point. For instance, our first one here is our Vampire Tint. This is the NanoFlex 20. And then we're going to compare that against the 15 dyed, 15 dyed ceramic, and 15 carbon ceramic. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take this gun as a customer, and you're just going to press it right there. It's reading 78.5. And then we'll press this button for you. And we'll count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It got out to 86. So the reason why we have two heat sheets here, is that way this one's cooling down. And then we have a fresh sheet for our next sample. So our next one is going to be carbon ceramic. And remember that number was 86. So our carbon ceramic is this one right here, and this is going to be 15 darkness. And we are reading, and just for record, these heat sheets changes colors whenever heat hits it. That first one, this did not change colors. Watch what happens on the rest. So we're back at 79.5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got to 103.5. So as you see, maybe a huge difference in price, but there's a huge difference in temperature. The first one was 86 degrees. That second one was 103 degrees. Now we're going to go for our dyed ceramic. Also 15% darkness. We're at 79.5 degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got to 142 with the dyed ceramic. So remember that first one was only 86 degrees, and that one was 142. So now we're going with our premium dyed film. Lifetime nationwide warranty runs 170. Great film for looks, UV rays. But what's it going to do for your heat? We're reading at 80.5. 80, 80.5. 80 I think we're close enough to that 79.5 that the other one started on. So we'll go ahead and go just for the um, sake of not making this video too long. So we're starting at 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got a 165 there. I think it said 172 there for a second. You can go back and check the video, but I'm pretty sure that one got to 172. Now we're going to try it with nothing. Reading at 81.5. Notice this one right here still has all that heat in there. And remember the first one. It only got out of 86 degrees, and the heat sheet did not change color at all. And so we're reading at 81.5. We'll just go ahead and start from there. 82, let's see what this one's doing. Actually, the reason why that's reading so high, I just thought about this, is because your heat lamp is behind there, putting off heat. Now we're at 81.5, let's go 82. All right, let's just go ahead and do it. 81.5. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got over 200 degrees. I think at one point it said 203. So again, when you come in as a customer, we'll let you hold this yourself. If you want to do it for two seconds, you want to do it for 10 seconds, you want to hold it for one minute, you get to see what each film does for you and if it's worth the price for you. Again, that first film. This one got out to 86 degrees. Um, with nothing, it was well over 200 degrees. 
So you got to pick your price point somewhere in between the films. You can learn more about our window tinting services at tintmanwindowtinting.com.